Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and if you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below. Up above on the easy to use widget, and check out the JB and Steel show over at Steel Flyers. And we'll be uploaded on my channel in the Skype Roll version once I'm able to get it working, and it doesn't just upload small segments of it. But let's get right into it as we preview the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Anaheim Ducks out there in Anaheim, as both teams are heavily affected by COVID protocols, as they have their stars on COVID protocols, and Ryan Getzlaff for the Ducks, and Trevor Zegras, where the Flyers have Ivan Provorov, their star defenseman, and Sean, or not Sean Couture, yeah, and Claude Giroux on COVID protocols, as their stars on COVID protocols. Joining them are Nick Sealer and Jackson Cates for the Philadelphia Flyers on COVID protocols, and Derek Grant and Nicholas Deloriers for the Ducks on COVID protocols. Plus, on the injured list, there's Mac Jones and Josh Mahara, plus Adam Henrique, a solid um, player for the Ducks. Um, at the center position there, and or wing if they want to play him there, but typically center position where Sam Carrick is slotted in tonight. But when it comes to the lines, according to Cap Friendly, it has them listed as I grab my charger. It has them listed as Oscar Lindblom, Kevin Hayes, and Travis Konechny as the first line. Scott Lawton, Morgan Frost, and James Van Riemsdyk as the second line. The third line is then Joel Farabee. Jerry Mayhew getting another opportunity, which is cool to see because I thought he had a very good first game. And then Cam Atkinson, that line's going to have speed. Speed kills with that line. Uh, Max Wilman, Patrick Brown, and McEwen on the fourth line. Cam York is going to get the first line. That's what this says. Um, that's an interesting um, tidbit there. I would think with how Sanheim was playing, I guess uh, Yo just doesn't want to play with the way that Sanheim and Risto play together. But uh, York is going to get the opportunity to slide in where Provorov slides in, according to Cat Friendly, with Justin Braun. Nice to see him get his opportunity in his hometown, play for the, jun the, the Junior Ducks. Um, so it's going to be cool to see him get that opportunity. Uh, Yandel and the Condolden line need to pick up their play big time. Yes, Yandel's made a couple nice plays on offense like um, the great Steel Flyers and um, Flyers of the Goodies, Chris Mayer has pointed out, which is what you pay him to do. But he's never looked this slow and this bad at um, 5 on 5 aspects in his own zone. And part of that, I think, is because the Flyers don't have a guy that's good to pair him with at this current uh, juncture because of the injury to Ryan Ellis, who is back from COVID protocol, which is great to see, but no progress on his injury. And Brass is back, but is banged up. So that's why the lines are as they are. Um, it looks like, according to uh, this, it has a projected... So if Carter Hart's able to start, that gives us a much better chance in this game. But I'm not one of the people that ever that is with the Martin Jones slander. I think he's been fine as a backup goaltender. Did he look great against LA? No, but the defense looked like crap. And Provorov played putrid, other than the goal that he was able to score. So that didn't help when behind the net, Provy and Braun look lost. Uh, yes, maybe you could have got to post quicker, but I don't think. You, you take one side as a goalie and wrap around the defense is pushed up on the other side, and they suck. Uh, so that played a big part in that. But when it comes to this game... The Flyers just got a claw. They got a scratch and claw. They haven't been a team. Timmy the Flyers got pointed out on his great video. Check it out if you haven't. They haven't been a team that got through the COVID protocols like other teams will be able to fight through and be able to have guys step up. We saw Sandstrom step up in his debut. We've seen Willman step up now in a few fashions. Frost is now back. He was injured last season, so you couldn't use him. Uh, that's a big part. Cam York could become that big component at the defense position. Is he fully ready yet? No, but not a lot of guys are. Nobody's really truly fully ready when they first caught up. Is he really where you necessarily want him to be yet? Maybe not, but uh, we didn't necessarily want to force Willman into playing 15 games yet, and he's played, I would say, about... 10 of those at least very very solid and very well as a bottom six level player. So um, I think these things are moving in the right direction for the Flyers in terms of the way that they're able to find ways to get points and claw a little bit better through the COVID protocol problems. But they still got to solve their issues on 5-on-5 five five defense. They got to play much better in front of the goaltender and behind their net, which is now a problem. And also they got to be more consistent in exiting zones and entering the next zone. They've had some good in games and then they've been very off and they haven't been as successful in doing that minus the plays like the Yondel play where he was then able to get it up for the game tying goal that Fairby was able to score. There's been a couple plays here and there, but as a whole, they haven't been as good since the return from the holidays. They got to get going better. Yes, they've looked good on the point sheet getting three out of four in the first two games, but then they lost to LA in a game they got shots on net 
Quick was very good in. If you're able to get the shots on net like he did in that game, that brings success to this game because the Ducks are missing arguably their best um, defensive center in Ryan Getchlaff, other than maybe um, maybe somebody like Steele, who's pretty solid on both ends, uh, but not, I don't think, anything like Ryan Getchlaff or Isaac Luderstrom, I would say, would actually be the one to contest with that with Getchlaff because he plays the best two-way game with Sam Steele is okay on defense. Um, so, Luderstrom now moves up into Getzlaff's spot. You got Ricardo Kel Silverberg, Comtois, Steele, and Terry is the second line. Milano, Grillo, and then Latiri is the third line. Uh, Kadok, who's going to make his debut, O'Regan and Robinson is the fourth line. And then Lindholm and Drysdale, York, or not York, Fowler, uh, Manson, uh, Simon Benoit, and then Kevin Shattenkirk. And then it looks like Gibson is going to go. Would have been fun to see Stolars go against the Flyers. But the key for the Flyers is you got to play much better behind your net. You can't be leaving. I mean, yes, the goalie needs to obviously do better at noticing what's going on behind his net, but you also have to play much better. And I would have to say 95% of what happened on those two plays is on Braun and Provorov, but 90% of it is really on Pro because he didn't take his man. Braun on the one play was actually able to box his man out behind, and then the, the Kings were able to get out in front of score. On the other play, the second goal, uh, that the Flyers were bare behind the net. Yeah, they were not. Nobody was ever able to. But Braun got bullied by Deneau. He threw it out in front, and then Moore was able to score. But um, you, you got to play a much cleaner overall game. I like the shots total they were able to get in the third tilt. That's what I want to see carried in, obviously, from the Kings game. But you have to have much more consolidated defense than you did in any of these games since the return. So that's what I want to see tonight. I want to see an energy instill because we saw some energy instill when guys like Wilman and Frost especially came into the lineup in the first couple of games that it kind of got some jump going in the guys. I want to see that from the back end with the defense with having a guy like York in there. Hopefully you see some extra energizer jump and you're definitely going to have some fresh legs. It's going to be fun to see him make his debut. Everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Ducks and Flyers. Let's get that win out there. In Anaheim, it ain't going to be easy with the guys we have on protocol, but they got a bunch on protocol and injured as well, just like the Philadelphia Flyers. So obviously, just as Drew said before, going on protocol in a couple of quotes, there's really no excuse to be playing the way they're playing. So it's now it's on them to get better and get points and obviously a much better fashion going forward that makes you feel better about the team going forward as you enter the All-Star break in the next month. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great continuous start to the new year. If you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe down below.